here at Mount Herzl in Jerusalem to talk with a guy I've been trying to speak with for two years. Dan Lee is a physicist, a former IDF officer, who has created a way to use high-intensity uh, infrared lasers to take leaves off of the top of trees and create a wall uh, uh, around forest fires from advancing. So forest fires burn heavily in their treetops with, uh, as he says, a hundred times intensity from where they are on the ground. Taking the leaves off, dampening the, the floor of the forest in advance of the fire stops the forest fire. And nothing in the world, as we see, seems to be stopping forest fires today. So his laser technology may be the way to end the way forest fires spread today. And that's extraordinary. I started this um, project in 2012 and I issued patents and then I, st and then I gathered a few people uh, to run it through them and bounce the idea off it. When I found that it's, uh, and it's fast and it holds fast, and so I went forward to analyze the entire system to see how I can put it together the minimum cost of a system. So the minimum cost of a prototype. Yes. And what does the prototype do? The prototype is basically a, an experimental tool for demonstrating and promoting the tool in front of different audience, mainly the firefighters and the, that are going to buy the system. We want to, with our partners, to sell to each firefighting crew that will have this tool. Now the, the tool basically is a, is a high power laser that cuts off the leaves from a remote position from up from far back and not like a firefighter has to put water onto the fire directly. Forming a control line that is clear from foliage and since Fonts in 1946 presented the issue that fine fuel that we call leaves is what promotes the fire front advancing. And if you take out this fine fuel that ignites quickly, the fire stops from going forward and basically dies off. And that's the idea of the system. This way we prevent the fire from climbing up to the treetops and get, getting into this devastating condition of these uncontrollable wildfires that we see today. The laser can be placed in a helicopter or on, the, on a vehicle on the ground. It, whatever suits the situation. In the terrain that we see, like we see here, it's a very steep terrain. A ground vehicle will not do get into the right places and a helicopter will work. Now, with, when you look at the firefighting tools today that they use water and chemicals to spread on the fire line, we're not working on the fire line itself, we're working a few hundred feet in front of it before it comes. And we form a fire break a control line and we clear that from the leaves on the trees and they fall on the ground. These leaves that are on the ground, they dampen the fire bed on the ground, the dry ground. So we're getting a packed, a packed layer of leaves with wet leaves, but they're green and they're adding moisture to the ground. And since they're packed on the, on the ground, they're reducing the air flow of the oxygen. So we have a secondary effect that we're slowing down the fire from advancing on the ground. That gives us more time for the ground crews to come with water and finish off the fire. 